So what's up guys welcome back to another video. So on this video I'm gonna install the uh, crank seal guard and the uh, crank bolt capture on this uh, M55 engine on my BMW M235i uh, from VTT. So the problem is when you, with your serpentine belt if it gets uh, contaminated with oil or coolant it might have a tendency to uh, slip up its pulley while you're driving so so what's gonna happen this serpentine belt is gonna be uh, sucked in by the motor it's gonna be sucked in by the harmonic balancer and it's gonna have shredded pieces of belt going inside your crank hub and uh, pushes its way inside your uh, crankshaft so the only way to prevent this is by installing the uh, crank seal guard since we already taken out the harmonic balancer it's a good idea to install the uh, crank bolt capture because uh, if you have a tuned car sometimes this this, uh, this bolt can become loose and uh, when that happens you're gonna lose the timing on your car because uh, this is holding on to the timing gear with the friction disc to keep everything in time so so if this bolt become loose you're gonna lose the timing and you're gonna have a catastrophic failure on your engine so it's a good idea to lock this bolt uh, by installing the uh, VTT uh, crank bolt capture to make sure you have peace of mind that this bolt is not gonna turn while you're uh, driving your car so now let's get started so see this is the uh, VTT this is the seal guard It's a nice piece of uh, machined aluminum. It's also supplied with the extended uh, bolt. It's a nice piece of uh, aluminum. Also supplied with the uh, the bolts. I'll supply with the uh, eight bolts to compensate for the thickness of that uh, crank bolt capture. Also, in this uh, installation, I'm gonna use the uh, Loctite to make sure uh, everything is not gonna come uh, loose. Even though you tighten it to the proper torque, it's still gonna need the uh, Loctite because of the vibration from the engine to make sure everything is still uh, locked in place. First you have to unclip the vacuum line from the uh, air filter. So unclip the connector on the map sensor. Loosen the uh, 8mm on the uh, intake. Pop the grommet and the bracket. So I'm going to put an Allen key on the uh, tensioner. And this will lock it in place when we take out the tension. So I got my T60 on my uh, 3.8 ratchet and a pipe for uh, better leverage. Take out the tension and this tensioner. So now you can remove the belt by sliding it out on the uh, smooth side of the pulley. It's easier to slide out the belt from the smooth side instead of the rib side. Take out the belt from the uh, harmonic balancer. Put the belt aside. So I use an E10 with a 3 8 to quarter inch adapter on a quarter inch ratchet with a pipe for extended reach. So the harmonic balancer is off now, but there's no way I can take it out without uh, removing the uh, tensioner. So that's the only way I can take out the uh, harmonic balancer by taking out the tensioner. And I cannot pass underneath the, the bottom of the car, there's no space. I just have to reinstall the uh, tensioner back and buy a new bolt for this. Get 
this tensioner is brand new. I just bought them last year, so that's also a good time to check the belt. There you go. So after taking out the harmonic balancer, the area there is uh, full of uh, grease and oil. So I think it's a good idea to clean it before we install the uh, seal guard and the uh, crank bolt capture. So I'm just gonna use a dirty uh, microfiber with the brake cleaner to clean those out to make it uh, look a little bit more better. Finally got the first one and then the second one. So what I use, I use the uh, E12 3 8 swivel with a 3 8 extension, a 2 inch extension and a 6 inch extension and a 3 8 ratchet. I took out the screws from the bottom, I have more space to work there. So I'm just gonna blow with air, make sure there's no uh, dirt in that uh, crank hub before I install the seal guard. So before I install the uh, seal guard, because I'm gonna put uh, Loctite on these uh, screws, I wanna clean it up first with the brake cleaner. Make sure there's no oil contaminants on the threads. Better bond with the uh, Loctite. Make sure they're thin. No grease, no oil. I'm putting on the seal guard. So I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the number 9 uh, Allen key again with the uh, swivel and the extension to install the bolt for the uh, seal guard. So I'm putting a lock tight on the screw. Start putting this by hand. Turn it by hand first. Second bolt. Crank seal guard finally installed. So now it's time to do the uh, crank bolt capture. So I'm gonna try to uh, do a dry fit with the uh, VTT crank bolt capture. I'm gonna see if it's gonna fit and uh, we'll see if the holes are aligned to make it fit so I can uh, complete the installation of the uh, crank bolt capture. And try with the screw if I can put it in. It doesn't want to go in. The holes are not aligned. Okay, try again. I turn it. Oh, turn it one more time. Maybe this this one will work. It doesn't want to go, the holes are not lining up. Turn it again. So I cannot install the uh, crank bolt capture, the holes are not lining up. It doesn't matter how many times I turn the, the, uh, the bolt capture, it's still not lining up. So. I have to find a solution for this. So uh, that's it for this video guys. Next time for part 2 I'm going to try to find a solution to fix this and uh, 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.